Okay, so I guess you're wondering, what's going on? Well, I heard that you're about to study about Indians or read a book about Indians. And there's a couple of things that I know that you might like to know, so I made a little video. Well, here we go. A lot of people know about Indian arrowheads. Here's some of my favorites. Um, I have to put on my old lady glasses, so excuse me. This is actually a scraper that you would scrape the the meat off of a hide and it, you would hold it in your hands like this and you can see where your thumb goes and you go uh, they probably wouldn't use the sound effects but that is what I do and one of my favorite arrowheads is this one because this is actually something that came from an area it's a genuine uh, Karankwan Indian arrow artifact that was found on some land not too far from here pretty interesting stuff and there's probably something you don't know, though. You've seen the arrowheads. You've seen pictures of Indians. Texas, Native Texans, American Indians. But I bet you haven't seen something called a cochineal bug. Well, a cochineal bug is this. And, um, yes, it is a bug. I don't know whether you can see it, but it's right here. And this bug lives on a cactus pad. You know, a cactus pad. Uh, let's see if I can find one on the internet. And if you look at the computer, let's see here. Here's a bug close up. The bug that I have in my hand is actually dehydrated. They pulled the, the, um, the, the liquid from it. But, so you can see the difference. Definitely one's fatter, one's skinnier. But here's a cactus pad, and you can see the white things. That's where the cochineal bugs live. And they make this fuzzy stuff to show, or it just protects them. Well, if you squish one, it makes red. And so many of the Indians would collect this, and they would use it on their face for paint or on just decoration. And it's something they would do. Well, remember I told you that this was dehydrated? Well, all you have to do is take this and put it on a piece of paper. Whoopsie. Lost it. Let me try again. Put it on a piece of paper. Remember, it's dehydrated. And I'm going to squish it. And when I squish it, it looks like that. But the minute I add a little bit of water here, just water, suddenly turns into red dye. A purplish dye actually. Now what's interesting is many of the things that you eat that are red coloring, it comes from these bugs. They're called cochineal bugs, but on the back of the ingredients it's actually carmine. So if you eat something red, you may be eating bugs. Have fun today. Bye-bye.